We're back now, 845, with a superstar of science. Neil deGrasse Tyson is the director of the Hayden Planetarium here in New York, as well as a best-selling author. In his spare time, he doesn't have a lot, he hosts the Emmy-nominated show Star Talk, tackling the mysteries of the universe. Take a look. I want to see, you know, somebody who saves the Earth who looks a little bit like me, whose behind is a little bit bigger, <laughs> whose chest is on the floor. <laughs> but when that... The superpowers <laughs> kick in. Ooh. She could slap a whole nation of people on the way to taking care of business. Just your typical science show. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, I'm laughing again. I'm sorry. Yeah, why'd you show that to me? That's we laugh in this whole interview. I love it. In the first few episodes, you tackle superheroes, tightrope walkers, and marijuana. Yeah, just because there's science in everything. That's that's how why. How do you tie that to science? No, it's not. No, it's not how you tie it. The science is fundamentally part of it and so with you know, there are a lot of smokers out there but we bring in an expert on hallucinogenic drugs that studies its effect on the brain and so the show juxtaposes what a pop culture figure might be doing on their spare time with the actual science that infuses it I've watched the show and what I always think when I'm watching you host it is that it's like you go into the meeting and you say you know what I always wondered and then they go off and they actually do it. <laughs> it's great, I mean, seriously. Well, so it's a celebration, I think, of all the nuances of all the, the small and the large ways that science touches our lives, no matter your profession. And, and one thing you always have said to me is that you don't, it, this is not for PhDs, this is for everyday people, and one of the ways you communicate the magic of science is through a sense of humor. Well, I think without, if, if you can't smile while you're learning, I, I don't know how you'd learn anything. And plus, I personally, I think the universe is a hilarious place. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. That's what we've always said. Yeah. Cracks, it's a laugh it's, riot. It's the just universe. Knee slapping. A couple of headlines yeah, related sure. to science recently. Sure. We just discovered a rocky planet orbiting our closest. Yeah, yeah, so the Alpha Centauri system right. is the closest star system to the sun. One of those, it's a multiple star system. Right. One of them is called Proxima Centauri. That is the very closest star. And we found an Earth-like planet orbiting that star. And kind of the Goldilocks zone. It's, it's a Goldilocks zone right. for that star, which is slightly different because it's a, it's a cooler, redder star than our sun. But here's the thing. That's not what's interesting. What's interesting is that it is an Earth-like planet around the closest star. Right, yeah. So if you're going to have an inventory of what planet you're going to visit first, right. that would be at the top of the list. Uh, However, the fastest thing we've ever sent anywhere, you point it to Proxima Centauri B, which is what we call it, it would take you 35,000 years, a thousand generations just to get there. you got to plan ahead. Yeah, pl <laughs> well, you, you need to send a colony of really yeah. fertile people <laughs> so that they can... <laughs> in the few seconds I have left, I said to you in the commercial break, it was a difficult month for commercial travel into space with the SpaceX rocket explosion, and you differed with that. Well, if you're on the frontier, then stuff goes wrong. That's the evidence that they're on the frontier. They're trying to get us to space cheaper than anyone has ever done it before. So when I see this, I say, okay, that's, that's actually rich with experimental results of what not to do the next time. And you have to, if you think about it that way, if, you, if you're an entity that never makes mistakes, you are not on the frontier. Well, and that's a good way to put it, as the, the way you put all these things relating to science, which you are so passionate about. Neil, it's nice to see you. Well, thank you. It's Thanks. It's always good to have you. And thank yeah. you very much. And you can catch the new season of Star Talk Monday, September 19th on the National Geographic Channel. I love it. Uh, Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.